Hamayna newa, hamanewan, nepija newawan. That is, hi my relatives, how are you doing? What are you doing? Me, I am doing fantastic. I decided I will do something a little different. And I noticed a number of people go on YouTube searching videos in regards to Native Americans because they want to know a little something something about us. And I decided why not give the people what they want and share a little bit of my culture with you. You could check out my other videos. There's my berry harvesting, my sister and I talk about womanhood, and just a bunch of other ones. Make sure to check those out. I did a Native American tag a long time ago, back when I was a wee child in college, and now I am a child with a wee child myself. I got little Tsomi Rose here. Let me show you. She's playing with my makeup palette. Here she is. Here's Tsomi Rose. This video kind of has a little to do with her because what I'm going to show you guys today are Tsomi's cradle boards. Oh, another cool video you could check out is where we go home part two. And in that video, what we do is we go and we pick the willows. And funny enough, I think my aunt, because I'm like, oh, this is enough to make um, two cradle boards. And she says, Riel, like in Riel, have a baby. And I kind of shrug it off. But funny enough, I just realized that September of that year is when I get this little one planted. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with this first cradle board. She has three and I'll explain why. So hold on. Okay, so here's the first cradle board. And just as a disclaimer, as a disclosure, as for your information, for a lot of you who are non-natives, do not call them papoose. If you see me with my cradle board and you say, What a nice little papoose. I will, I'll hiss because <laughs> let's, that's not what we call them. We don't call them papus for us Nua folk. We call them pupa. And anyways, um, this is actually her dad's. I guess her dad has spent some time in here. So this is well over 26 plus years old. Very sturdy, still good. At the time when um, his grandmother let us have this cradle board, Somi was around six weeks old and we did not yet have a cradle board because my mom and grandma were working on Zomi's cradle board but they weren't finished with it. So when we went back home to Hawaii, um, Kobe's grandma go, went on ahead and lent this to us. And a lot of families passed down their cradle boards to one another. So like I said, Kobe slept in this cradle board and now his first little child, Zomi, is sleeping in it, his daughter. As you can see, this is all the willows that go inside the cradle board. Um, if you look back on that video where my family and I went and chopped willows, it goes a little something like that. All those little sticks we were cutting, this is where they all go. But this is not one we made. This is made by a lovely elder in Owyhee. So they are covered in this, um, what do you call it? This canvas material. You could use buckskin, you could use canvas, and this is what it looks like on the inside, and I will show you. But this is how it looks. This is how the frame looks. All the small willows going horizontally. Larger willows are bent. And there's a whole process that goes with warming them up, like I think in hot water, um, so that the willows become more malleable and you could bend them in any shape that you want. You see it goes all the way down here. There's two larger ones that come down the center. There's two on the outside, and then the rest are the tinier willows. All put together. Do you remember in science class when they would have you try to make a bridge? <laughs> and the stronger the sticks are, the stronger it holds together. So all of these are tiny, tiny little sticks that you could break on your own, you know, just with one hand, just and break them in half. This really, it holds our babies. Really nice. Lots of love goes into it. Hold on, I'm gonna close my curtains because I notice it's kind of affecting this. Okay, and in my other videos, I kind of, uh, it looks rugged, but work with me. <laughs> this next one was made by my grandmother and my mom um, from the wills we went and gathered, I believe. And this is Somi's. This is, nobody's bed in it yet. Um, made with lots of love. See, the structure is the same as the other one. This is hers. It's very lightweight until you put it heavy ass baby in it. Uh, you'll notice these little holes and that's because that's where her um, 
her shade goes and it, her shade is on her other cradle board her current cradle board right now so that's why it's not here this is 2018 this was probably 90 something but this still worked and it was Sony's first cradle board I'm talking about this older one it still worked you know and it's old 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 well not that old but it's old <laughs> see so look at all the the willows as you can see and this also has canvas material on it and Tomi grew out of it she was too tall and they use this canvas material too because it's a lot more a lot more cooler because the buckskin tends to be for the winter time when it's a when that warmth is needed and thankfully they got done with Tomi's cradle board just in time for winter and just in time for her to fit it because um, she grew out of that cradle board she got too tall what do you call it? her shade went up to the highest that it could go and she could no longer use that one no more but now we have that for the next round of baby so this is really beautiful to have and i was actually really really emotional about it like seeing my mom put my daughter my very first child in her very first cradle board made by her grandmother i cried tears sacred tears ancestors tears I'm kidding but I, I really did cry it was emotional it was sweet and it's something that honestly who knows I might be putting my first grandchild in this so it's really freaking awesome I yeah it's awesome like I'm not even exaggerating I'm not trying to be I don't it's cool it's really cool it's so cultural I feel so enriched with my own culture uh ho so this next cradle board is Zomi's current cradle board so let me kind of fix it up because it looks kind of, it looks used because it is being used right now so we have a um a receiving blanket in there to kind of wobble, swaddle them up and i'll give you a demonstration on how we swaddle these little kitty bears up this is her current cradle board i think you've seen you might have seen it in vlogs already because um I recorded it for a vlog. It is made out of buckskin. My grandma and my mom are super happy because I think this was the very first buckskin they've done on their own. Stretched it, smoked it, all that fun stuff. And my grandma beaded on top and she was laughing. And the funny part about her beadwork is because my grandma is not so much of an artist nor is she much of a beater. I mean, I think it looks fantastic, but she would tell you that herself that she's not very artistic and not a very good beater. So she was like, what? And she wanted to beat it. She wanted to make it special. So she was like, what can I beat on it? And then she said she started beating this flower. And then she said the more and more that she kept beating, the harder it was to stop because it kept getting bigger and bigger. And she she just thought it was so funny. And we were laughing because they were saying it looks like a poinsettia. You know, the um, Christmas flower. I think that's how you say it, poinsettia. But when I first saw it, I thought it looked like a water lily. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. It just goes to show how much you could accomplish when you believe in yourself. Because my grandma at first, she said, I don't know how to do fringes. I don't know how to do this and that. But my mom said it would be real nice if you added fringe. She added fringe, <laughs> even not knowing how. And this is how the back looks. And this is where her shade is. And a lot of people put like beads on here like the larger ones so it's pretty or seashells the little puka shell things but um yeah and if you could see my grandma likes beating these little daisies so she beaded daisies on top so this shade was made by a beautiful and talented elder in battle mountain a shoshone elder um kobe's grandmother let us borrow a shade and typically babies get their own shades you know for their own dreams for their own thoughts and for their own protection. The way the designs go is if they're like this, they're X's, that signifies for a girl. Somi's a girl, so that's how her shade looks. And if she was a boy, it'd have no X's and just the slashes, the italicis thing. Slashes, I wish I had an example to show you, I don't. Maybe I'll show you on my sister's cradle board she has for her boy. Here's another one. This is a different style. I'm not exactly sure what it is. But this is also a girl's um, shade and Kobe's grandmother let us borrow it. I'm not exactly sure whose shade it was. Well, the shade is rounded. I don't know if this is Paiute style or Shoshone style or if it's just that individual style, but this is how the one shade looks. And this shade, this shade has just straight lines. I know, I'm not too sure if there's 
any significance to why those two are different. Some of the benefits of having a cradle board is your baby will sleep like a baby. It gives them a feeling of security and you know, they can't move, <laughs> so that's fun. A lot of babies love it. Like, people might think that it looks kind of like you're torturing your child because you're keeping them held in, but no, it keeps them swaddled, keeps them warm, keeps them protected. And I think the shade, not only does it give you shade, but what the shade does for the child is it protects them. My mom, when I asked my mother, you know, why do we give our baby shades, or especially why do they get their own shades? And she said, because that's where their thoughts are, that's where they dream, and you know, um, you wanna have one new for the baby so that they could have their own precious, beautiful thoughts and good positive energy and that shade will protect them. And when you go places, you could drape a blanket over it to keep them protected from germs, from people, from hate, from the haters, shield them from the haters. I'm just joking. But in all seriousness, it's very comfortable for the child. And I will give you a demonstration on how you swallow your baby. I need a volunteer who wants to be in the cradle board. You, you back there, okay. Come on up and we'll put you in the cradle board. I volunteer. So many volunteers. <laughs> I'm already that Indian mom who volunteers her child to do everything. Oh gosh. Do you have poop? Do you have poop? No, she's good. How you're gonna wanna start it is you're gonna wanna um, lay out your receiving blanket. A blanket you swallow your baby in out like that. Next step you're gonna do is you're gonna swaddle your baby. Like so. See, she already knows. So then you go over. Arms in. Okay, and the next thing, my camera's on focus, but whatever, is you're gonna start lacing the buckskin on top as if you're doing it to a shoelace. Okay, I needed two hands to do this, the first part, so I stopped the camera. But for right now, look at this is the progress. See, I do a loop through, make sure to pull it kind of tight, then you just keep working your way down. All the way down, you're going to lace her up. And see, she's already loving it. <laughs> she knows the spot, she knows this place. She loves looking at her shade while this is all happening. Okay, then here's the feet down here. And to keep their little toesies warm, I tuck it upward and then I tuck it in on the sides of her cradle board. This is kind of hard because I'm just demonstrating, but. Um, I usually use two hands to do this. Then at the very end, I always like to go like this, like a little knot, and then pull it. And she's pretty secure. See? And then when I'm done, I pull it to loosen her. See? There it is. And then just like that, ladies and gentlemen, your baby is ready to rock. And then you could just gently rock her back and forth and look into her eyes and tell her you love her and that she's a sweet little angel child. Now we're discreetly nursing. So that's another bonus. But lots of love, lots of prayers have gone into these cradle boards. It's, I don't know, like I kind of, growing up I kind of seen them just as this thing. Like, I've seen a lot of my older cousins and my aunties have cradle boards and babies in their cradle boards. I mean, people still use them today. It's not like this old, ancient thing. It is old, I guess, and it is ancient, but it's not something that's forgotten. It's not something that we don't do anymore. This is a very different vlog, I hope you, or different video. I hope you guys like it. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Please let me know. Check out my other videos. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. I'll try to answer them the best way I can. I don't know everything and everybody does things differently. So <laughs> my way might not be the same way as yours. But if we have any similarities, any differences, just let me know and that'll be, that'll be fun, I think. She hates when I talk when I nurse her. She's just such a hater. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't call them papoose. They're not called that. They're not. Let's see. Work 
Just like